If you cast your minds back to the late 1970s, you may remember a little BMW called the 2002. Now this is this replacement, the 135 i Coupe, and BMW states that it's ultimate driving machine and sheer driving pleasure. Uh, despite it's being called the 135i, it actually has a 3-litre straight-six twin turbo engine, but it's just the way it delivers the power is amazing. The maximum torque is developed from 1300 RPM right up to 6000 RPM, and it just keeps on going. The car develops a maximum 306 brake horsepower, which is less than the older BMW M3, but because the car weighs next to nothing, it's just phenomenal. It just goes so fast, and the sound it makes. Sounds like a burning dinosaur. That is absolutely amazing. And look at the feel of the engine. It cruises and then it's open again. And this car is so supple with the handling, it just grips and goes and just flows from corner to corner. It is so nice. I'm trying to think of bad things to say about it, I really am, but I just can't think of anything. Apart from the back seats, which you know you need to be an amputee to get in them comfortably. Now if you're after a small, fast, nimble, stylish two-door coupe, you may be thinking Audi TTS or Porsche Cayman. But this is faster and cheaper than both of them. It's $19,000 cheaper than Audi TTS and $30,000 cheaper than Porsche Cayman. And it does 0 to 100 in 5.3 seconds. The interior is such a nice place to be. It's not like the BMW M5, which was basically a boffin's wet dream of gadgets and gizmos. It's very simple. It's got everything you need, air conditioning, alloy wheels, traction control, all the gizmos, a very nice CD player. Although the indicators still get on my nerves with their stupid non-self-canceling and the stupid key which you have to put in there. Press the start and stop button and then go. But the seats, they're like a lazy boy chair. They sort of hug you and they're so comfy and yet at the same time they manage to be sporty as well. That's really hard to do. The automatic gearbox. Now I'm not a fan of these. They are, you know, they don't involve the driver as much but this one's Tiptronic. You can switch it into manual, change up and down when you feel and it is so smooth. Around town it just ticks away at 1500 RPM all day long. And for a fuel economy, that is just amazing. Now, this three liter twin turbo straight six engine actually won World Engine of the Year award last year. And it's because it manages to mix performance and economy together. The handling in this car, it's not like a Subaru Impreza or a Mitsubishi Evo. It doesn't grip and go from corner to corner, but what it does do, it just handles and flows. You can sort of manage the back end with the power. You can make it slide through the corners and relatively safely as well. It just, it's so supple and simple and you get so much feedback through the steering wheel itself. I think this car would suit your sort of middle-aged man, midlife crisis quite well. When I first found out about this car about eight weeks ago, I knew it was going to be good. I knew it was going to sound good and I knew it was going to drive very well. But it's actually exceeded my expectations of it. It's brilliant, it's epic, it's biblical, it's fantastic. And it is an ultimate driving machine. And I love it so much, I'm prepared to work 100 hours every week for the next two years to get one. That's how much I love it. I just want to say a big thank you to Christchurch BMW for making my day with this awesome car.